After Roman Grosjean's horrific crash in the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix, the FIA has made an attempt to better enforce safety regulations. One area they have focused in on is drivers wearing jewellery while racing. In this video, we will look at the official rules regarding jewellery and the controversy surrounding this topic in the last two seasons. Let's get started. Rules regarding jewellery are mentioned in the FIA's International Sporting Code under Appendix L. Let's take a look. As you can see, the wearing of jewellery in the form of body piercing or metal neck chains is prohibited during the competition and may be checked before the start. This standard has been in place since 2005, but enforcement of it really started last season in 2022. What immediately stands out is that this standard is a little vague. It does not address things like watches, wedding rings, or jewelry which can be worn on the feet. Enforcement of this rule started at the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix. Two races prior at the Miami Grand Prix, the FIA tried to enforce this rule, but was met with severe driver pushback. Most famously, Lewis Hamilton said that he will not race in Miami if the FIA enforced this regulation. In addition, as a form of protest, Hamilton showed up to the FIA press conference with three watches, four chains, eight rings and a pair of earrings, topped off with his signature nose ring. World champion Sebastian Vettel was also critical on the FIA's crackdown on jewellery. These protests went on until the British Grand Prix when Hamilton finally removed his nose stud. So you might be wondering why the FIA is suddenly focused on jewellery. They cited several reasons. First, metallic objects in contact with the skin could increase burn injuries during a fire. Second, the wearing of jewellery could prevent medical treatment from being administered in the event of an accident. Third, the wearing of jewellery underneath the required flame-proof material can reduce the protection afforded by the equipment. Lastly, large pieces of jewellery could prevent the removal of the driver from the car in the case of an emergency. Smaller pieces of jewellery could potentially be swallowed or inhaled in the event of an accident. All these reasons seem valid and there's arguments for both sides. Drivers could feel that their liberties to express themselves are being curtailed while the FIA feels that safety is the top priority. This issue has again come up in 2023. The FIA has tightened its regulations when it comes to driver compliance. Drivers are no longer allowed to wear jewelry or piercings while in the cockpit of their machinery for safety purposes. Because of this, teams must confirm to the FIA that their drivers have been checked before the race weekend. So far, all teams have complied, except for Mercedes, and in particular, car number 44. You guessed it, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis's name was not on the list and it's no surprise why. He had two nose piercings this year as compared to the one he had last year. In this case, Mercedes filed for an exemption and Lewis was allowed to drive with his nose piercings. Nevertheless, the wearing of jewelry remains a controversial topic in Formula One, and it'll be interesting to see how the FIA enforces this rule going forward this season. Now I would like to hear from you. What are your thoughts about drivers wearing jewelry while racing? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.